My name is Reddy Kotta. I'm Associate Professor of Strategic Management at Singapore Management University. My research interests span innovation and entrepreneurship. Both of these are intrinsically connected. So we are all interested in having breakthrough innovations. But breakthrough innovations come with the attendant high risk of failure. So this large corporation over a period of time, over a period of eight years, had over 20,000 individuals participate in celebrating successes and celebrating failures. So the question they had is, should we be celebrating failures? What message would this send to the rest of the employees? And how would this influence the long-term innovative DNA of the organization as a whole? How do we get these uh, individuals to try and explore? If you reduce the penalty for trying, then individuals shift away from being in the status quo. The green bar is the baseline where people get their payoffs and they explore. And as you notice, if you go down this baseline, the people who are sitting in baseline or inertia reduces. They go towards promising zones and they go towards less promising zones. But the organization as a net improves because exploration is rewarded. And this exploration then breaks the rigidity of the status quo and gets individuals to go and try new innovative projects, which lifts the organization performance. We have field data as well, which we then see if we can test versions of what we think about in this analytical and the simulation model. And we construct a paired study of individuals who participate for the first time in the failures, and we find another twin employee who's similar but not has participated in the failure competition and then track them over the period we observe. Results across lots of uh, various analysis show that there's a positive impact of actually celebrating in the failures. Finally, we also conduct an exposed survey of senior managers to find out if the assumptions that are built in the simulation model are accurate. And they are consistent with how we think about the problem and how we model this. The data in addition to the simulation model and in addition to the exposed survey sort of give us a wide uh, consistent pattern of results and evidence and way of thinking about the mechanism that show that celebrating failures is actually very important for breakthrough innovation in organizations. And if you're an org designer and you want to design the system for innovation, you look at uh, how we think about innovation and then how we can get more agents to in, in employees to engage in, uh, in innovation. And this turns out the critical thing and counterintuitive thing is you need to celebrate failures well-intentioned failures to get everybody in the organization engaged and moving towards exploration.